Shalom and Yash Allah. I'm gonna start by saying all praise, all glory, all honor, all blessing belong to our power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem, Kakodash, to double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us well, well and woe well, well. Much respect unto the elect sons and daughters of Yash Allah that step in the way of righteousness in the name of Yahweh, Wa, Yahweh, Shamashiach, and salutation. To the Akiam that's in our highways and byways doing this work in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom, shalom. To this listen, it's about the article you see on our screen. Uh, in Iraq, centuries of centuries, centuries old black community still on the margins, right? See, we've been marginalized throughout the four corners of the earth. Where the Lord has scattered us because of our sin, right? That's exactly what Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushai have done unto us, right? Adnan Adel Rahman After John, he learned to play at age 12. He belonged to Iraqi centuries-old so-called black minority gardens of musical tradition but relegated to the margins of society, you see? Everywhere, Judah, the so-called Black Latinos and American, wherever you you, are, you have gone to, right, you have been marginalized in all those societies. Why? Because the Lord says so, right? Let's burn the scripture real quick. Let's go to Deuteronomy, right? Deuteronomy twenty-eight. Gonna go to twenty-eight real quick. See, we have been marginalized. Uh, uh, the doing shall be 28 verse 43 to swing the stranger that is within thee shall get up get up above thee very high and thou shall come down very low that's why you've been marginalized you can, the enemy the enemy that you're in right now right the stranger that that you, that you dwell with right they shall be above you very high and you shall be very low right verse 44 he shall lean to thee and you shall not lend to him he shall be the head and do short be the tail, and that's what's going on right now. That's why you've been marginalized in this country, and you have to tell, right? And if you keep waiting, you're gonna see they have to tell, right? Uh, sent in a center in the city of Zubai, near Basra, in the far south of Iraq, the community has origin in East Africa, right? They say they've come from East Africa, so you know that the Lord has scattered us everywhere, right? To the four corners of the earth, we're in East Africa, North Africa, South eh, West Africa, South Africa, we're in North America, South Central America, South America, uh, Russia, Asia, we're everywhere, Europe, eh, everywhere, Australia, we're everywhere on those regions, right? Everywhere in those regions, right? That's why you're scattered us, right? That's why you, those people were taken, right? While activists denounce the community, imagine it. Marginalization, right? Talk of racism or discrimination offends Zabai inhabitants who prefer the euphemism dark skin in, in Arabic to the word black. You see, now they, we, they got bad words for us, right? They got all kind of things for us, right? Let's get it.
that's the thing, right? It's, it's can be a bad word among all the nations, right? And then that's the thing. And then uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, chapter 28, verse 37. And thou shall become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. Okay? The Lord has lead us on those nations, right? And now we became a byword. Now we want to be called dark skins, right? Dark skin is not a nationality, right? And then, but instead of being called black, right? They, but they call them black anyway. They don't care. Right, that's a by word, that's an astonishment, right? Those men that don't, they don't even know uh, the true nationality, right? And let's let's bring this thing real quick, right? And why they don't know their nationality, right? Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter 27, chapter 4, verse 27. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 27. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nation and you shall be left few in numbers among the hidden where the lord shall lead you and there you shall serve the works of men hand wood and stone which neither see nor hear nor eat nor no smell that's what they're doing down there right not only they're, they're serving their enemies right but they they in their religions they worship their gods wood and stones especially a uh, being a muslim in those countries right Ezekiel said, chapter 36. Verse 19. Ezekiel said, chapter 36, verse 19. And I scattered them among the hidden, and they were dispersed with the countries according to their ways and according to their doings. I judged them. You see, the Lord judged us to scatter us unto those nations, unto those hidden, or among the hidden, because of our ways. And we still go to, to, to the, among the hidden and still worship the other gods instead of seeking after our own God. That's exactly what this people have done, right? And when they enter unto the hidden, whether they went, they profane my holy name when they say to them, Those are the people of the Lord and are gone forth out of his land. But I have pity for my holy name, which the house of Israel have profaned among the hidden. Where they went, you see, they profane the name, right? Outside of the temple, they don't say the name anymore, right? The name Yash allies they have no sound among those hidden, right? Because they are not calling upon the name of Yahweh, why Yahusha Mashiach, we not declare our nationality anymore. We wanna belong a dark skin, that's bad words, that's an astonishment, right? It's a profession you inherit, he said. I have made Zabal famous throughout the country and in Kuwait. You see, we scatter even in Kuwait. Not, it's like we got Iraq, Iran, Kuwait, we, we, all over those places, right? It's a profession you inherit, he said. He explained that his uncle sing and his father played the drum. If someone dies, his son takes his place so that the art doesn't disappear, right? He said, um, he keep, he, he keep it with dark, dark bookers, tambourine, and large good skin drums, musicians living living up weddings by leading the Zafa, right? That's how they, they make their money. They go to weddings, sing, you know. That's what they do. A profession, a procession of song and dance to celebrate the bride and groom. You see? It, it, that's, that's, that's in our culture for, for us to sing, to dance and everything like that. That's the, that's the, that's the, uh, that's an Israelite thing. That's an Yasha Allah thing, right? You see? I did I am we have played for four years in the heritage group sponsored by the culture ministry, you see? Now those hidden they're still that sponsor you, they're still that that give you money, that loan you things, right? They're still that do things for you, right? See the majority of players are black and, and added that 
it does not feel discrimination you see even in those countries even though we've been marginalized we still the salt you see we don't want to sing this song we don't our music are, are popular throughout these countries and we make it popular in those countries right everywhere we went racism is something we have never seen one guy said right but hey, but that's not that's not always true but many activists within the black community disagree many this you see you're always gonna find those coon that are gonna say oh yeah racism is something we've never seen right but many activists within the black community i want them 37 32 year old majed al khalidi those with dark skin are fifth class citizens see this they're not even second class citizens they're not even third class citizens they're not even fourth class citizen the fifth class citizen i mean they, they have other group on that country that's that's even higher than them you see let's bring that deuteronomy again you cannot see see tell us not playing man what tell us say gonna happen happen right verse 43 the stranger with that's within the you see all those strangers right that make from that maybe the other nations or that maybe tribe are gonna be above the white right? shall get up above the very high and those shall come down very low you see the so-called black and iraq they're very low they're at the bottom they are they are fifth class right not even second class say khalidi who works for an old company in basra right since the establishment of the iraq state we have not seen anyone from the community occupy a senior position in the state we have not seen a governor a minister or a lawmaker you see that they, we they're very low on those countries right they're at the bottom that's exactly what's going on yasha Allah, right he said the community face a high drop out from school poor job opportunities and offensive language even from religious clerics okay even those nations that have all the religions okay and jakes might follow their religion but they still don't give a damn about jake you're not them you just follow their own religions right so instead of following uh, what yasha allah i've called it your own culture calling upon your your the true power of your which is yahawa why yahusha mashiach language even from religious cler clerics with many people still using the arabic term slave to designate a black person right you see this in every way that we are bent they are called a slave let's go to joel man We have served hard bondage in those captivity and they call a slave and we're a slave on those, those things and that's what those hidden gonna pay right let's get it let's get uh, let's get to look and they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall let away captive into all nation you see we're gonna be captive as a slave right into all nation and jerusalem shall be thrown down of the gentiles until the times of the gentile be fulfilled you see we are left captive into all nation as slave and okay and let's go to uh deuteronomy 28 68 It's a new thing, Yasha Allah. See?
Uh, Revelation chapter 20, verse 68, verse 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other. And there shall thou shall serve other gods which neither do nor thy fathers have known even wood and stone. And among those nations shall thou find no ease. You see, they got, they got no ease in those, uh, those land. Even in Iraq. You see? They keep they 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 still facing racism. They still calling all kind of names slave. That's bad words. That's astonishment. Neither shall the soul of thy foot have rest, but the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart and a failing for eyes and soul of mine. And thy life shall hang in dirt before thee, and thou shall fear day and night, and shall have none. Insurance for your for their life, you see, and those and in those places being called slave and all that, right? People can still show hate against you, you see, and that's kind of hate for them to call, still call, call you a slave on those times, right? And you're still a slave because you still work for them, you still sick after their ways, you still still you still have to work for them, you're still a slave. Still, uh, when you have to work for the nation, I mean, you are a slave to that nation, right? The man already number numbers 20, 50,000 to 2 million people, okay? We are between 20, 50,000 and to 2 million people, right? They don't say, you're going to scatter us and you're going to be few in numbers in those places. And that's how we are. Hegak is between 20, 20, 23 million people to, uh, to like, uh, to like 40 millions and 20, 50,000 to 2 million, that's a small, small number. The ancestors came from Kenya, Ethiopia, Sudan, said historian Ibrahim, Ibrahim Al Mashashi of California State University. You see? The, the, the center in Iraq, southern Basra region, where black slaves were brought from East Africa for the back breaking work of draining the salt marshes. East of city, say Marsh Arashi, and the Isco record, the first mention of the community is in 869 CE when they revolted against the Abbasid Caliphate. He said, To this black Iraqis country to face systematic discrimination and marginalization, marginalizations, according to the minority rights group International. The London-based MRG say in an online report that Iraqi so-called black community suffered disproportionately high illiteracy and unemployment rate and that many cannot find unemployment other than as laborers in domestic works. You see, you still, that's a slave. You see, being a slave, that's, what, that's our punishment. Okay? That's what we're made to do, right? Let's bring it. Let's bring it. Let's go to Bible. Uh, Baal Shadow Baal Shadow 3 uh, verse 8 Behold, we are here this day in our captivity, where thou have scattered us for reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payment according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from Yahweh our power. Hear Israel, the commandment of life, give ear to understanding, wisdom. Ah, happening in Israel, that thou in that enemy's land. That do are waxing old in a strange country, that do are defiled with the dead, that do are counted with them that go down in the grave, do are forsaken the foundation of wisdom. For if thou have walked in the way of Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushai, thou should have dwelt in peace forever. You see? You see, now payment and we in captivity and hard bondage, right? So you have to serve hard bondage. To payment, a reproach and a curse. You see, it's a curse because we have to serve our enemies in all things, right? In a recent po a sign of progress in State One TV news channel, hired a young black woman, Wanda Abdel Aziz, 
as it presented, but such steps remain rare, right? Much is needed, say Khalid the activist, and a multi faith, multi ethnic country, he demanded the inclusion of his community in the quota system, which reserved parliament seat for certain minorities, including Christians and Yazidis. You see, they are, they, they are Christians, Yazidis, Muslim, they got they, all that, right? To claim your rights, you have to be close to the decision makers. See, they can even make decisions on this land, right? Because you they are very low. Right? They got no say so on those countries, right? Anyway. He said about a political system where lawmakers can open the doors to all kind of state largess, right? Especially public sectors, okay? And that's the thing. Our people still look at those nations to save them, right? Let's go to lamentation. Lamentation, chapter 4, verse 17. As for us, our eyes as yet fell for our vain help and our watching. We have watched for a nation that could not save us. They're still watching for that nation to save them. And that nation got nothing to, to help them with, right? Okay. Cannot help them, right? And they still want to slave for this hidden nation, right? Sad Salom and a speck of religious and ethnic diversity agree that discrimination is seen at all levels against black Iraqis. See, at all levels, they got no rest and all those levels, right? Politically, they have no representation. Socially, certain stereotypes remain rooted in the dominant culture. Economically, the, major, the majority live below the poverty. See? Gonna be below those people, those hidden nations, right? The group ARLG recalled that after the fall of former dictator Saddam Hussein, black Iraqis began to organize and develop a political consciousness for the first time. The Free Iraqi Movement, the first group to defend the right of black Iraqis, was founded in 2007 and encouraged by the election in the United States of Barack Obama as president. You see, this is so called black man. We call Barack Obama, which is a Hamite, been been president, right? And they think that's it. That's uh, that's an indication that everything gonna change, right? But that's not true at all. Nothing changed for the so-called black people in America when Obama became president. Actually, got worse. You see, several members of the movement went for the 2010 provincial election in Basra, though none were elected. Imaji County in 2013 is founded Jalal. Tiab was murdered in the city. There is still a long way to go achieve equality for this and all my other minorities. Say Salum, right? You see, one of the activists there used to have Jalal Tayab was murdered. They murdered the man because they see he got too much power and he was an influencer, right? And they, they murdered the man because he was gaining political power. He was gaining there, but the Lord is not it's not the Lord doesn't want that. The Lord doesn't want to be him to be a savior. Because the Lord gonna, is the savior here, right? The, Yahweh power by Hashem Yahusha is the ultimate savior. And he's gonna son his son. That is that his name is Yahweh Shah Masha, for he is saved, he shall save. He's the one that's gonna save. You know? And that's what the Lord wants. But at the end of the day, what at the end, at the end, the Lord gonna call all our people from all those land there, they have scattered, right? Let's get let's get one last the last scripture, right? Let's get Isaiah eleven and eleven. Isaiah chapter eleven, verse eleven, and it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the women of his people, which shall be left from Assyria. You see? Assyria is closed. It's, it's like Iraq was like it's like closed. Iraq was. It's, it's all those regions, right? And from Egypt, and from Patros, and from Kush, and from Elam. It's like a, those people they scattered between Elam and and the Arabs, right? And from Shinar, right? And from Amath, and from the island of the sea. You see. All those Arab countries in Elam, you see, you got Iraq, Iran, and uh, Palestinians, 
and and his engines, right? The, the, so a lot of them are in little mic, and that's what we scattered and, and and among those people, right? And the Lord gonna bring those captivity back, right? And he shall set an inside for the nation and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel and gather together the dispersed of Judah. You see, those people, as you can see, are most likely from the tribe of Judah, right? Like live ben Judah, Benjamin, Levite, right? And Judah shall not fix Ephraim and shall be from the four corners of the earth. The envy of Ephraim shall depart, and the advers adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. Right? And just as you can see, you now the Lord is gonna gather us throughout the four corners of the earth and those lands that's been scattered. In, right? And like Peter have said, let's get it. Let's get it. James. Let me get James. Let's see Peter too. James chapter 1 verse 1. James is servant of power of the Lord Yahushua Mashiach to the 12 tribe which are scattered abroad. Greeting. Okay. You see, James is servant of the Most High Yahweh and of the of the Lord Yahushua Mashiach to the 12 tribe which are scattered abroad. Greetings. You see, those letters was waiting to the 12 tribe that scattered abroad. As you can see, we see our people in Iraq, Iran, Kuwait. All this region in Asia, right? China, everywhere we've been scattered, right? And we're gonna be guarded on all those nations, especially the tribe of Judah that have been scattered to all those lands. Dove said Yahweh power by Hashem Yahushai. Right? Good that good that brothers and sisters. Akiam and Aquaf. I hope you are edified. I'm gonna give all praise and glory be to our power, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushai, by Hashem Kakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach us well, well and will will well. Salutation to the Akiam that's in Iris and Bowers doing this work in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom, Shalom, Abba Baba, come Yahshua Allah.